Hello and welcome back. Today I have a new toy and it is a little bit silly because I really didn't need it. Well, do you actually need all your toys? But it was a crazy silly good deal. So I just needed to take it. And it is a second hand uh, FT891. And I didn't even mean to, to, I was not looking for it to be honest. Uh, two years ago, I started uh, playing again with my ham stuff because I didn't do anything in 25, maybe 30 years. And uh, I visited my dad and he is very active ham. And, and uh, he was playing in the, on HF. And I said, well, I have my full license. Why I didn't, I never played with uh, HF. And uh, so uh, after that, I found the second hand uh, FT450, and it was a really nice machine. Then for my birthday, I thought, uh, I think I know a nice present for myself. And uh, I found, an, uh, but there was still cash back, I found the uh, FTDX10, and it is really cool. But it doesn't have uh, 2 meters and 70 centimeters. So then I thought, okay, maybe I need to look for something extra. But uh, my space here is a little bit limited. And I thought, well, I need uh, maybe also a dual bond, 2 meters, 70 centimeters. And uh, then I started looking a little bit more. And then I thought, wait, there is this uh, all in uh, one machine, a check in the box. And I found an uh, 897, which is a little bit the big version of the of the 857, because it can store batteries and it is a, a lot bigger. Uh, but it is nice because it is HF 50, uh, just like the 450, but then also with two meters and 70 centimeters, and it can receive air bonds, which is also nice because it's multi mode, so you also have your AM. So that was nice, and I could try it just close wallet, and then I had my uh, 897, and the 897 was great. I even did a few videos about it. I had an external display, and then I got a little bit too much used to the spectrum scope in the in the FTDX10, and then I said, oh, okay, if I can find a good deal and I can do a nice trade again, maybe I go for a uh, 991. And uh, I found actually 911A because the scope is more real time there. And uh, yeah, I was quite happy about that. But then I started to miss my 450 because somehow the design or the size, I don't know. So I thought, okay, if I can find another 450 second then that would be great. So I sold some, some test equipment. I had, uh, I have sometimes uh, doubles because uh, you have a good deal if you buy two and then I think oh, I will sell later. And then in the end, uh, somehow you keep it because yeah, it's hard to get rid of your test equipment. But I thought, okay, no, 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 I want a new FT450. So uh, I sold. And I started looking, but the second hand prices for the FT450 just went up and up and up and it didn't make any sense. And then I found, because I, I wasn't aware of that number even, then I found the uh, 891. And it's also HF and 50 only, bigger display, big knob. And it almost was like the improved 450. And the pricing was even a little bit lower, and I really find a really nice model. And here it is. Look at that. It's very compact. Uh, some even say it's like it is uh, an 857, but then just with a big display. And they took out uh, the VHF and uh, UHF, and then of course they upgraded a little bit the inside. But I don't necessarily think it is a follow-up of the of the 857, just because it is missing so much things. I would even think it's maybe a follow-up of the 450. So let's see. Here it is, big display, easy to read, even without my glasses. So that is a real improvement. But the 450, you could also uh, always read very good. I like that. 
and yeah it's it's more or less the same 100 watts and uh, I will be updating the firmware because it is from let me see the serial number 9 so it's 2019 I think they started in 2017 so it is new but still two three years old so I wonder uh, about the firmware and well we need to see I think there is already a 109 so we can upgrade that I can make a video about that how to update the firmware and I found a little issue transmitting on FM and AM that it is a little bit slow before it starts full power and I found a fix for that so I will also make a video of that how to solve that but now the whole Yesu range line somehow seems to fall into place for me. Uh, I was always an Ecom guy and then, well, I didn't do anything in, in 25 years and then Yesu really made very nice machines. So I'm trying to get to catch up with all the, the type numbers. Um, but they really make nice stuff. Yeah, okay, sometimes on the software side there are little glitches and things, but if I really listen to the FTDX, then you really pick up the smaller signals. I, I, I like it. So I started to be a fan a little bit of, of Yaesu. Uh, but I think their marketing strategy is confusion. <laughs> Just like when they, when they, when, well, when they did this one, if I read on the, on the forums and the Facebook groups, when they brought out the 891, a lot of people thought, it is actually a very expensive uh, 857 and they just put a big, big display and they took things out. So, so it should be cheaper instead of more expensive. And uh, when they brought out this new uh, 710, they thought, how does it fit in the, in the DX range? And, and it's priced kind of high even though you get the speaker it's still for that little bit of difference why should you not go for the FTDX10 why would you take the 710 and I think that is all not the case the line is a little bit different because if you look at it what the, what they can do just uh, discard the whole DX range that is a professional range and, and the FTDX10 is the lowest and you have the 1 and 1 and the 1000 uh, etc etc that is the FTDX but if we go to the HF50 only then you have the 450 you have this uh, 891 and then you have the 710 and that is one and if you go in the multi-mode multi-bands then you have your 897 of the, or the 857. If you want low power, you have your 817818. And the newer one, you come into the 998, and that is your other line. And then you have the simple, the multiband, and the DX line. And then it starts to make sense. But I don't think they want to market it this precise because if you have confusion, maybe people from one group want to buy it instead of they want to stick in their line, they jump. Because, of course, they want to sell as much as possible. So maybe I'm completely wrong, but uh, to me it makes sense. Uh, very enthusiastic to make new videos about the... Uh, I still need to get used to it, uh, 891, and uh, looking forward to it. Thank you for watching, and uh, hope to see you next time.